Hey, what's happening everybody? It's Nick from Lone Star Boot Reviews and today we're going to be talking about Alpha Western Wear. Okay, so full disclosure, I actually shot this entire video and realized that my mic wasn't working, so this is actually take two. Um, but Alpha Western Wear is a company that has really blown up all over social media. And whenever I'd see a post, I would go into the comments and there'd be a million people asking, you know, does anybody have these? Can you tell me about the quality? What's the ordering process like, etc." So I decided to just bite the bullet and buy a pair because I was curious and I'm pretty sure a lot of you are too. Now most of the boots on their website are cowhide prints that are made to look like exotics. Um, so it's cowhide, but it would resemble ostrich or caiman or alligator or something like that. But they do have some listed as bullhide. Um, now to me, they didn't really look like bullhide. They just look like regular cowhide, but that's what I opted to go with just because I wanted something that, you know, I would probably actually wear and I already have some exotics of the hides that I like, so I didn't, you know, a print didn't really interest me. Now, I think, you know, a lot of the reasons why that they are blowing up so much is because they have a million different boots on their website and different colors and hides and, you know, different options. Most of them are square toe, um, but they do have, I mean hundreds that you can choose from and they're pretty inexpensive. The regular price is $79.99 and they have promotion all the time to buy two pair for $120. I think you type in Alpha 20 to get that deal. But they also have boots from time to time that are on sale and that's what I got. Um, these were actually $54.99 plus $20 shipping. It's a $20 flat shipping rate, regardless if you, if you buy one pair or if you buy 10 pairs, they're gonna charge you $20 to ship it. I was a little leery though, because the return policy is not very good. Um, actually, they don't take returns. They will exchange them, but you have to pay the return shipping. So if you bought them regular price at $79.99 and paid $20 shipping, now you're at $100. And, you know, if you didn't like them, you want a different pair, now you're at 120, so keep that in mind. But anyways, it came to me, it only took about a week to get them. I had seen some people claiming that they've been waiting on theirs for months, but mine came in six days. And they ship it just in the boot box and they tape it up, you know, on the sides here. It doesn't come as a box within a box like some of the other brands are doing. So, a couple of issues I had were um, they don't have a lot of boots in stock in my size. I wear a 12 double E. And they didn't have a whole lot of boots that, had, that were size 12 to begin with. And then they don't list width on their website. So, I just assumed that meant that they were all D width. So I messaged them on Facebook and asked them, you know, do you even carry double E? And they said yes. And so I asked them, well, how do I go about ordering a double E? And they said that when you check out, there's a comment section and you just type in there that you want a size double E. And um, I was like, okay, but you know, when you go into the boots, there's several sizes that are out of stock. And like when I found this one, and went to the size 12 and said there was only one in stock. So I was like, you know, how does that work? You know, if there's only one and it was a D, how am I gonna get a double E? So I was wondering if they were gonna ship me a, something similar. But, you know, this is the boot that I, or, you know, wanted and ordered and it, it got here in six days, but the box and the boot both just say size 12. So I'm curious to see if they fit. Now this is kind of funny, the cardboard that comes in, you know, in the shaft here, it actually says KFC on it. <laughs> so I don't know if they cut these out of a chicken bucket or, or where that came from. 
but it's kind of funny. So like I said, they didn't have a whole lot of boots in my size, especially the ones that were on sale. They just didn't have a lot of them in a size 12. But I found this boot and I really liked the dark brown color with this lighter colored sole. I thought that was kind of cool looking, but I was leery about this silver boot top. You know, and I figured, well, my pants are gonna cover them up anyway, but it was just goofy looking to me. But the more I looked at it, I was like, you know, those kind of look like Ace Freely stage boots from Kiss. <laughs> and uh, I'm a big Kiss fan. So I thought, you know what, what the heck, I'm just gonna get them. Uh, if any of y'all are Kiss fans, let me know in the comments if you think these look like Ace's boots or not. But that's what I decided to go with. So when you, the first thing I notice when I pull these out of the box is they smell terrible. It is a really off-putting smell. You know, normally when you get new boots, you open up the box and it's like this intoxicating leather smell that smells so good. And these smell horrible. And it's the outside and the inside. Uh, I just feel like I'm gonna have to like spray some deodorizer in these things, because it is bad. Now the leather is, it's not stiff by any means, but it's not super soft either. So it's definitely not like calf, but it doesn't feel at all like bull hide. And I think it's definitely just a cheaper quality cow hide. But it feels like it would break in fine. It is very dry and thirsty feeling, so I think it needs a good soak in some leather conditioner. Um, so one thing I noticed right off the bat here is the welt stitching. You see right there, everywhere that the stitching ends, you can really see the thread sticking up. It's not like glued down or anything. And that's, that's on both sides of this one and this one it looks like, yeah. You see, that one's really bad. Um, right here, I've got the top of the heel here. Looks like it's peeling a little bit. There, I just ripped it off. That's kind of weird. I've never seen that before. The toe box stitching is not that good. I mean, it looks good, but look right here. I don't know if you can see that but it's like it's pulled out of the first two holes right there already. It's sticking up and there's two tiny holes right there if you can see it. So, I mean, this is not, it's definitely not a Lucchese, but in their defense is, you know, I don't think they're trying to be. Now, looking at the heel, I'm guessing that this is a wood heel. It's a leather sole for sure. But if you look at the heels here, I mean, it's not even a good quality wood. It looks like it's, you know, cracked in several places. And even like, and you can see that looks like a knotty wood right there. You can see on this one, I mean, look at this. That looks almost like it's been pieced together right there. Um, it's not a good look at all. I mean, they did a decent job at staining it to look like the leather, but I mean, it looks like crap if you get, you know, get up close and really look at it. Um, does have brass nails and a uh, rubber heel cap, you know, that's pretty standard, but it does have brass nails and it is a full welt. double well actually so I don't know I mean it doesn't look that bad but it doesn't look that good either now inside the lining it's got leather lining and it actually feels kind of nice it's pretty pretty soft um, it does not have the hidden stitching like 
you know, like a Tacova's or a Cuero or something. But the lining feels nice. Insole's a different story. It's non-removable. It does have a tiny bit of cushion in it that feels like a foam. And it's leather right to about just past the arch and then it is cloth. But it concerns me. I don't know if you can see that in there, but it's like it's a cloth insole with just a piece of leather glued on top of it. And it's fairly thick. It's probably a 16th inch thick. And I mean, there it's a big ridge right there where the leather is just laid on top of the, of the cloth, which makes me think it's gonna be uncomfortable. And then the cloth part's got a design sewn into it. I don't know if you can see that at all. I'm having a hard time seeing it. But it's almost kind of a football shape sewn in there. And it's sewn deep into the foam. And so it feels like ridges that are going to be on the front part of your foot. So I, I don't like that at all. I'm afraid that's going to be really uncomfortable. Um, but all in all, it doesn't look horrible. It just doesn't look good either. But um, what do you say we try them on? Super comfortable. But it's not that bad. It's not nearly as bad as what I was afraid it was going to be. You can look there. It's not, you know, with my jeans on. It's not a bad looking boot. Yeah, it's really just not that bad. I'm pretty surprised to be honest with you. Now, they don't feel like something that I would be able to stand or walk in all day long. Or dance, if you're a dancer. That may just be that they need to get broken in a little bit, but it's it's mainly the the insole doesn't seem that comfortable. The boot itself is not that bad and it looks nice. Okay, so final thoughts. Um you know, there was a couple things I did like. I mean, I think it's, you know, I like the color. I think it's a decent looking boot, especially when you're wearing it. Um, if you're wearing it out, I don't think anybody would look from 10 feet away and go, oh my gosh, those are really cheap boots. Um, if you look, like I was saying when I tried it on, look at that sole, how round that is. Uh, it really makes it feel weird and it just doesn't sit flat. Um, it's it fits me well, but it's not all that comfortable. I don't think I could stand up in these all day by any means. And I think a lot of that is that insole and then the roundness of this sole. So... You know, like I said, they're not trying to be Lucchese, and they're certainly not a Lucchese. But, 
you know, if this was your first boot, if you were somebody that was wanting to get into wearing boots and you didn't have any, you may look into going this route. Although, you know, I'm telling you for the price, like I ended up paying over $80 for these, even though they were $54.99 after shipping and tax and everything, it was over $80. I've got two pair of boots coming in this week that I found on eBay, but they're brand new, free shipping, free returns, and I paid less than $75 for each of those, and they are a lot, I already, because of the brands, I know they're going to be a lot better quality than this. So, you know, if you look, you know, and especially if you factor in that if you didn't like it or it didn't fit, you know, you could be upwards of $120. Well. You can buy a good boot, you know, at least a lot better than this all day long for 150 bucks. So, you know, I don't, I just, I don't think I could ever recommend this to anyone. Even if it would be a first boot purchase, I would, I'd find something else, honestly. Um, you know, I don't know if I'll ever even wear these again, just because the rest of mine are so much more comfortable but it doesn't look terrible. So anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, um, you know, let me know what you think about these. Like I said, I wouldn't recommend them, but honestly, it wasn't quite as terrible as I thought they were going to be. So anyways, I will catch you guys on the next one and uh, take it easy.